hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i thought that now i'm looking kind of presentable because i'm actually leaving the house i would film this little bit for you guys um maybelline reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and they asked to send me something so i said yes of course i just dropped one of the lipsticks um it is their new made for all by color sensational lipstick range so this is essentially a lipstick range that I've tested out on 50 diverse skin tones um, to ensure they look sensational on everyone. So they've got a ruby colour, a mauve colour, a plum colour, a fuchsia colour, red and pink. Um, and this is a little thing that they sent to me and they're all the like different skin tones that they tested it out on. It's like a really good set to have because if I need something, they're kind of all there, like all your... Every colour that you'd kind of wear on a daily basis is here so they've got two red colors one's matte and one's um just like a normal kind of finish for a lipstick so i'll just swatch them for you they've got like these plastic seals on the um side of them obviously because they haven't been opened but oh my god <laughs> i cut myself while i was opening them anyway so this one is pink for me this is what the packaging looks like this is the pink color that's it there it's not like a pink pink but it's like a kind of nude pink with i mean kind of a nude color with like a pinky tinge to it i think it's gorgeous that's probably just like the nicest pink i've ever seen to be honest excuse my really badly fake tan arms i have to scrub it off this one is ruby for me and this one is the not matte red so that's what the packaging looks like for that one that's what the lipstick looks like. Wow, how good does an untouched lipstick look? It's so nice. Oh my god. That applies like a dream. That's that one, the top one. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I have not worn a red lip in such a long time. This one is the matte red. That's what the lid looks like. It's actually a matte lid. Oh my god, when I tell you that's it. so every new one is gonna be the top one or I'm just gonna start like on my knuckles. Um every application has been like seamless. The next one is fuchsia for me. I'm not really a big pink lipstick wearer, but maybe this will change me. That's the top one there. Oh my god, this is crazy. I actually really like all of them. This one is mauve for me. This is probably the one that I'd reach for the most. Just that top one there. And then this last one is plum for me. And this one's going to be a stripe. <laughs> and that's that one right there. Oh my god. I love them all. I can't wait to actually try them on my lips, but because I'm going out, I'm not going to put them on my lips. I actually need lip balm really badly, but these feel so lovely. Even the matte one doesn't feel dry, but it's like dried matte, so that's insane. That's really nice. Uh, how do we always end up here? So <laughs> I am back now. It's quite a lot later. I ended up going shopping and then I went to my boyfriend's house and stayed there. Now I'm back home. I've ordered myself some Uber Eats, some Vietnamese actually, and I'm going to do a mukbang also in this video. So first up, I'll show you guys what I got today. Number one, um, I stress ordered so many things uh, a few weeks back and ShowPro doesn't do um, like refunds. They only do store credit. So I had like $111 of store credit on there because I had bought that much stuff. Um, from them in the past so and returned it so i got two things today i got this necklace i don't know how this is gonna look <laughs> um but i just thought you can never have too many necklaces in your life it's still in the packaging i didn't take it out obviously it's called the love heels necklace in gold so that's that it has like a little like coin thing on it a shell and a starfish I don't really know why I picked that, but yeah. And then I got a jumper. 
This one is the Only Just Begun Knit Jumper in Cream. I got it a bit oversized because I like my jumpers to be comfy. And this looks massive. That's what it looks like. It looks really cozy. The one thing I despise is these types of like bottoms of jumpers because they like cling to you. I like ones that just flow out because I don't know, they just flatter you a bit more. But we'll see how it goes and I might just like tuck it up or something if it allows me to. But I got that and it has like a high neck, which I love, and like balloon sleeves. So yeah, we'll see how they go. I have so much dog hair on me. It's fine. Alrighty, so that's that stuff. And then I went to Cotton On today. I always end up there. First off, how cute is this like little um, tote bag that like they're, it's like their charity bags that they always ask you about. And like I say yes every time because I end up never bringing a bag. I'm always like, oh, should I? And I just never do. So I always just end up with 10,000 of these. So I got one of them. They're only like two bucks or something, I'm pretty sure. So no harm done. And you're donating to a good cause. So I got that. It's like moon and stars and stuff. I actually freaking love this one. So that's the first thing I got. Um, the second thing is this pink jumper. I thought it was so cute. I love the color. I obviously don't have anything pink because I always wear just black and white and gray. So I got this just a bit outside of my comfort zone. Um, I got it in a size large basically because it was the only one there um it's in the color carnation and that's just like what it looks like it's just like your average slouchy jumper see these are the types of ones that i don't know if it's going to be like clingy like that oh my god i've turned green that made me turn green oh my god stupid t-shirt always does that um yeah I just like love living in these things. It was 15 bucks. You know what? I'm so stingy that I'm like, oh, $15. Isn't that a bit too much? And then this jumper that I, ow, <laughs> this jumper that I got was like 70 bucks. So I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, to be honest. I'm just all over the place. Um, the next thing I got was this, the cutest little pair of shorts. Um, I love them. They're so freaking cute. They're frilly and stuff. Oh my god, and they were only five dollars. Oh my god, why did I say that? Um, what are they called? They are called the Rib Frill Shorts in Storm Blue Marl. So exciting. I I love wearing these to bed or just like even around the house. They're just so comfy. Um they hadn't been like pink and stuff, but they weren't they didn't have it in a size medium, so I didn't get it. And the last thing I got was actually from the men's section, duh, that's the first place I look um for jumpers, and it's this jumper it just says nyc 91 sports athletics supply it was the most like least cringy one there and it's like a nice green color um so yeah i got that and it was 15 dollars again so um that was fun i bought way too much like in the past like few weeks i got like the whole box set of sex in the city because um i've always wanted to watch it there's always been reruns on the tv but they're never in order um and yeah i don't really like watching that stuff around my parents or like downstairs wherever i can hear because you never know when a sex scene is going to come up and it's more than likely when it's in the name um and i watch both the movies because they're both on netflix um and i flip and love them like i'd seen the second one before but i'd never seen the first one so i watched both um and i think i watched them the wrong way around did i I might have, I don't know. Um, but I got the whole box set from Cash Converters because I was not about to pay $175 for like a fresh new box set. So I got all of the seasons for 30 bucks. So yay me. It took a lot of like sitting down and going through all the DVDs that they have there. But um, yeah, like they range from six, like four to six dollars. So it was kind of like a no brainer. Hopefully they all work. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Anyway, I've been talking for too long. So I will um, be back probably in a different attire when my food is here. So enjoy. Okay, she's back um, in my new top. Everything else I tried on was a freaking fail uh, besides this one. I like this one. It fits exactly the way I wanted it to. Yay. Um, actually, I haven't tried the shorts on, so that's a lie. But the um, like beige jumper, complete fail. Sending that back ASAP. Um... 
And the green jumper, I think I'm going to crop it because it doesn't fit exactly the way I want. Why are boys things tight fitting? I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, my Uber Eats came. And I'm going to show you what I got. So I got Vietnamese. I freaking love Vietnamese. I got a rice paper roll. I got roast pork in that. Okay, before I was really interrupted, I got the rice paper roll I showed you. I also got um, chicken satay. And that's what it looks like there. Delicious. Let's keep that warm. And for the main event, I got um, they're like noodle salads. It's called like bun. Bun. I don't know how they pronounce it. But if I show you this, it's going to spill everywhere. But I got the marinated beef. <laughs> Look at me. It, it just comes with the um, beef, like so much mint and coriander or whatever it is, um, cucumber, like lettuce and noodles. And it's the best thing ever. It also comes with this sauce, which I flip and love. Um, it also, I also ordered chili oil, which I won't eat. This, I don't know what that is. And this, just to try, I don't know why I bought it, to be honest, but I did that. Um, I don't think it was any extra, maybe like a dollar extra, but I did that. So, it comes with chopsticks, but I don't use them because I can't, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to spill this everywhere, so that's going to be so much fun. What are we going to start with? I really wish I had like a whole like viewing area, but I literally don't. I'll literally show you what my setup is like. I'm on my floor. Like, this is me right now <laughs> trying to film this. So, please... I don't have my lights up or anything um it's just not going to happen because i'm starving and this was impromptu um where did i put my phone oh there so i wanted to talk um <laughs> my life has been quite a mess like for the most part it's really good i have a good job um i don't know what i want to do with my life which is not that stressful right now but it's okay um i have an amazing boyfriend family everything like that everything's good besides like friends which i'm fine with because i've never been like very um consistent with friends because they always just f me over so that's fun i literally don't even do anything i'm the most low maintenance friend ever but it's like they just turn on you and it's crazy like it happens to me all the time <laughs> I'm going to start with the rice paper roll. I love the sauce that comes with this. I do not know what the heck it is, but it's amazing. So, yeah. I mean, like, it's not the end of the world. Having no friends is fine. Um, I don't have no friends. Like, I have friends at work and stuff, which are, like, the best type of friends. So, mmm. It's like a peanut sauce, I'm pretty sure. My favorite Vietnamese is um, roll dough. They do the best barbecue chicken bun, like the noodle salad. It is amazing. Anyway, yeah. Um, someone commented on my YouTube video, but then deleted it. Like I saw the notification for the comment and tried to go into it and then I couldn't read anymore. But I read enough, um, and they commented and asked me to, like, do I ever have down days? Um, how do I get through them? Do I ever have down weeks? Like, let's be real, they normally last for, like, a week, not, like, a day. Oh, my God, I'm a mess. Anyway, I really wanted to talk about it, because, yes, I do. If you guys, um, haven't seen, I did a mental health video a few months back oh my god this rice paper roll got stuck to the napkin shit oh my god everything's falling this is not working out <laughs> i'm gonna have to eat it with a fork let's just do this so yeah um i'll link it maybe down below i never link anything anywhere to be honest so don't count on that but um i went through a really hard time i went through a really bad not like a bad breakup but because i already have anxiety and i suffered with depression everything is just heightened for me sometimes so 
it affects me a lot worse than it probably should, which I hate about myself. Um, but it's something that I have to work with. So it's never really going to go away. I'm like, fine. Because I'm getting better at controlling it and stuff. But it comes out in little spurts and like it really catches me off guard sometimes. Anyway. So. Yes, I do have down days and down weeks. And the way I get through them is I <laughs> don't really. I don't have any like method of dealing with it. Sometimes I will. Oh my god, this is actually the biggest fail of my whole life. Um, I sometimes stay in bed or sometimes I just have to get on with it and go to work and put on a semi brave face because at work I don't really hide my emotions too much because people are annoying. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I sit in my bed, I watch YouTube, I sometimes I'm literally not even interested in doing anything but I'll just make myself do stuff because when I went through the really bad time in my life, I was shut off from literally everything. I wasn't interested in anything. Sorry, I'm being rude. I just need to reply to a text. Yeah, I was not interested in anything. I Everything I used to be interested in, not, nothing. Nothing would motivate me to get me out of bed. I didn't have a job at this point either, all the friends that I do now. So, you know, things were just a bit tough. Um, so now I know that I... I'm interested in things and if I start doing them it'll it'll make me feel better even if it doesn't like in one second it will a really big thing for me is having a tv show to watch I know it sounds kind of dumb and like you're masking your problem but they help and having this youtube channel really helps as well because it gives me some motivation to do something even though I suck at it the thing in my head is not everything is as bad as it seems like everything can always get better People that leave your life for literally no reason at all. Don't even, like, most of them do it to get a reaction out of you. Some just literally don't care about you and just have been looking for an excuse to leave the friendship. Which, like, be mature about it. Like, some people literally go through the funniest ways to end a friendship. Like, why wouldn't you just do it, like... The mature way because you are like 21 22 anyway it just really frustrates me but you can't control people that's not what life's about you can control you and no one else sometimes i can't even control myself so don't focus on other people's negative energy i know it's easier said than done but once you stop it's so worth it i still haven't mastered it so i'm talking out of like <laughs> um like semi experience because I know in the past it's worked for me but sometimes it's hard to ignore things and get over things and force yourself to do stuff but it's so worth it in the end uh, pardon me another thing that I've been doing is unfollowing people on social media so I don't get it but some people have like an irrational fear of like unfollowing people on social media because they think that they'll care I finished the rice paper roll <clears throat> Took me a while, um, maybe because I talk so freaking much. But I'm gonna get a chicken satay skewer and eat that. Oh my god, so good! I'm gonna have everything stuck in my teeth too. What was I talking about? I couldn't care less if I had like 20 followers on Instagram. Like, honestly, I don't care. It's not my life. It's not what I rely on. So lately, I've just been like unfollowing people that don't bring me joy. And it's really helped and I follow people that do or I follow like spiritual like quotes and stuff because I freaking love them. Um, they just kind of get me through the day and make sense of stuff that's going in my head. Surprisingly, it's very relatable. So I don't know. But um, yeah, surround yourself with like realist people, not like fake people because people that only care about Instagram, social media, everything like that. Like just don't know what life truly is I don't think or don't want to know what it truly is 
they want to hide behind the screen i don't know what they want to do but it's certainly not what i want to be surrounded by yes i do enjoy social media i do go on it just like everyone else but it's not like what i surround my <laughs> Not what I like focus my life on. Just on follow people who suck the life out of you because that's what it's doing every time you scroll past them. Yeah, honestly, people who don't want to be in your life, they don't deserve a place in your life. People that are mean, immature. Who has time, honestly? Like, you're going to die one day. It might be soon. It might be in, like, 70 years. You never know. But you are going to. And if this is the stuff that gets you down... You've got a whole nother thing coming. <laughs> anyway. I thought I had lots more to say on that, but I don't really. I'm like teaching myself things too. You guys are like an outlet for me because... I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm just trying to say stuff, but I'm still chewing. Um, I can count all my friends on my hand. There's probably like four, <laughs> maybe even three. I don't know. But like, I am a 21 year old turning 22. I just feel like you, you only think you need a big group of friends because that's what you see online. And what you've seen probably throughout your whole like high school, your schooling life, everything like that. And when you go to uni, it's kind of the same thing. I never went to uni. I don't really plan on going. I'm doing an online course. I don't really interact with people. It's not my favorite thing to do. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a mean person. Like I feel like I'm quite friendly because of how I felt before. I think I... I'm just extra nice, if that makes sense. Not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm quite, like, welcoming and nice and stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I just don't have time to be mean to people. <laughs> I'm going to be so full by the time I get to my actual dinner, but who cares? But, yeah, in saying everything that I said, I do get lonely sometimes. I do get really down on myself. I take it out on the people... Sorry if I sound like I've got like a block nose. It's kind of because I do. I need to blow it. But I have no tissue. So that's good. I mean. You can't force things into your life. Things come to you when they need to. I feel like like in the terms of friendships and people. I feel like you can't really force them. Unlike work and stuff like that. Which you kind of need to work for. I don't think you really need to work for friends. Like sometimes you do. But. You know, I don't want anything to feel forced. I don't want to feel like, oh my god, I forced this person to be my friend. Or I forced this situation. Because then I'll think about it for the rest of my life. I do that a lot. Like this morning, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. I don't have work. Nothing like that. But my brain doesn't stop thinking. I couldn't go back to sleep. So that's fun. But I'm going away next week. I'm really excited about that. Um, sometimes I despise working weekends. But in this case, it's not too bad. Because I get to go away... Um, for like four days without missing any of my work so that's good life's not really bad it's just the way you look at things and if something is really not the way you want then change it if you can so i don't know i feel like i'm not saying any revolution revolutionary things but i know that it helps to know that you're not the only one going through stuff does anyone watch younger on stan Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I used to be in love with it. Like, first season, second season, even the third season. I was like, yes, get me more. Even the season before the most recent one, which I think is season five or season six. I don't know. But ever since she chose Charles, I'm not really here for it. I love Josh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start on my main now because I've literally nearly filled myself up. So I pick off all the um, mint because I hate it. Did I show you what it looks like? That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to put the sauce on. I have no idea what sauce this is, but it's freaking good. I literally drown it with the sauce. And then I just give it a good mix because you want the sauce to reach everywhere. I've never had the marinated beef now that I think about it. I'm intrigued. 
Does she like it? Who knows? Let's see. Oh my god, that's so good. My stomach is not going to agree with that though. But okay. Sacrifices. Anyway, guys. I'm going to finish eating this. Off camera. I just wanted to talk, wanted to vent, wanted to just chat. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if I'll be continuing this vlog. I just really want to get something up for you guys. So I might just edit it tonight because I have so much time. Or I might edit it tomorrow. I don't know. But I'll start a new one soon and keep you guys updated with my life. If you care, I don't really know. But I just like putting out videos. So if you don't care, don't watch it. If you do, it's going to be there for you. Oh my god, look at that. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Love you so much. Bye.